My name is Judith Perlwitz. I'm a research scientist at, uh, at Sirius, the University of Colorado. I'm also um, uh, collaborating with NOAA scientists, so I'm actually sitting at NOAA. The North Atlantic Oscillation is the leading mode of circulation variability in the North Atlantic. So what the ENSO or El Nino means for the Pacific, uh, the North Atlantic Oscillation is, is, is for the North Atlantic area. And in the positive of the uh, North Atlantic Oscillation, uh, more maritime warm air gets affected to the continents of, of Northern Europe as well as uh, uh, to the eastern part of the United States, while during, during the negative of the NAO we have more c cold outbreaks uh, from, from, from high latitudes from the Arctic and that causes um, uh, co these cold, cold temperatures. Um, so we don't know how the NAO is going to change with climate. Different kind of models suggest different results and for example um, uh, some models suggested that the NAO index will shift toward a more positive phase that means to more less cold uh, t temperatures over these regions while, while other models suggest that it will not change at all. Still, that we have to keep in mind that at the same time the temperatures are changing because of the increasing greenhouse effect. So that was uh, um, a main a result of my recent research that uh, although the NEO, if it's even not changing, the, the, the impact on climate will be different uh, because of the change in the, in the general of the warming. So it will be NEO in the future will not, in the NEO event in the future will not look the same have the same impact as it has today, so it will be less cold.